Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Josh and in today's episode of Clash Rail, we're going to be hopping into the third game of this little challenge here. So, <clears throat> yeah, this challenge does actually give a ton of rewards. Um, <clears throat> 10,000 gold uh, at 13 wins, so that's actually a really, really strong amount of gold in this challenge and a strong amount of chests. So, let's just continue playing this challenge and see how far we can get. So, I spirit 100% over the skeletons. We'll go Ice Wizard because it plays a lot more defensive firepower. We'll go with the Goblin Gang because of those Goblins as well. They can be a bit more defensive and offensive at times. Uh, Hog Rider or the Battle Ram? Uh, we do have Ice Wizard and Ice Spirit. So we're probably going to go Hog Rider because it is probably a more successful win rate than the Battle Ram as a single card. So <clears throat> let's have a see what we can do. So, we'll probably load up with a Goblin Giant in the back. Okay, he does actually go with a Baron really offensively, so let's just go with the Goblin Giant. Let's go. I might arrow out these uh, this Princess. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, arrow value. Right. We'll go Hunter, because it will clean out. He is going to give me four elixir from it as well. The Hunter actually does massive work against that. That's really good for me. Got ice spirit plus some bats plus an ice spirit. Unfortunately, I did actually waste that for the shot. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, so arrows do actually come out. We're actually in the damage deficit, and I think I am in the elixir deficit as well. I'm not actually sure if I'm in if I'm in the elixir deficit, but it feels like it a tiny bit. So he may go with another battle ram, so we're just gonna sit on our goblin gang while we just got hog right now. Okay, it looks like he will. Okay, we'll go goblin gang with the ice spirit. Thankfully the battle ram actually does go into spawn. We'll go ice wizard down here. Just to clean out any remaining skeletons that we want to survive. We'll actually go back as well considering the ice wizard is that will keep the Ice Wizard at fairly decent health as well. We should be able to get, I think, two hits from this. Okay, it doesn't actually matter, but uh, we're going to have to arrow it anyway. Hunter's going to do some really good work against this Goblin Giant. Uh, elixir Golem Mummy. We are going to get a lot of Elixir from him anyway. Okay, he's going to be five order. I'm going to go in really offensive as well. We're going to go with some prediction arrows. We do get the prediction right. Goblin Gang here high up there. He is down in Elixir severely. And that's going to be towered down. The Hunter's going to clear out the power and we'll just set up with the Ice Wizard going the opposite lane. Try and create some offensive firepower in the right lane. Okay, here we go again. Alright, we're just going to hunt down here. We'll wait till both of these lock on. Arrow barely hits the Elixir. Magic Guard just actually connected with my tower, so I'm pretty sad. You may lose it to them uh, little golden knight knights. I don't know what they are. Put in the little blob. But we are going to get a ton of Elixir. We've got Goblin Giant down here. As well as a hog ride. Goblin Giant will tank. We're going to predictably fire these out. Don't hit anything, unfortunately. It does fire, but you well, could have actually scar me for a better trade. Split some bats. We'll go with a defensive hunter down here as well as a defensive ice wizard. It does have to be it has a size of a push. It's just gonna get shut down because the ice wizard the ice wizard is slowing it down. He's giving me a look for the first place this time. Magic Archer actually does get a good connection. But it is he is actually giving me so much of it. We'll go arrows because he might go to me. We've got the Ice Wizard in the pocket. Hog Rider is going to get to the tower and there you go. That is probably the biggest reason why the Elixir Golem is so powerful. He's so powerful because he just gives you so much of an Elixir advantage. If you use, or actually gives your opponent so much of an Elixir advantage. He had the Elixir Golem, didn't benefit him much, and he didn't use the Elixir Golem correctly. Now that's, I'm not trying to say I know how to use him in every single possible way. I'm just saying he kept, he kept using it wrong. He kept basically throwing it at the bridge, uh, not starting up a big, big push. 
and he basically kept waste, wasting it and he kept giving me elixir and elixir. he kept giving me four elixir every single time and that's basically a free hog run so that's a very 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 big positive elixir trade for me and I'm not even doing anything it's just his mistake so <clears throat> that's going to wrap it up for this episode I hope you guys did enjoy subscribe to Golden Gaming down below as well as also follow us on all social medias as well and also check out the merch store as well because why not that will also be linked down below as well and as always I will see you guys in the next video